Okay, so welcome to this final video on the HER2 amplification and breast cancer. So we've now seen how this HER2 amplification leads to breast cancer. Now what I want to talk about is a very famous drug uh, which is, can be used to treat this uh, and it can be used as a chemotherapy agent against uh, breast cancer. And that drug has the name Trastuzumab. And as the name suggests, it's a monoclonal antibody, Trastuzumab. And its target, basically, is the HER2 receptor. And it's also commonly known by uh, its brand name, which is Herceptin. So um, Herceptin is the drug that all the tabloids talk about. Uh, Trastuzumab is the official name for the drug, uh, the generic name for it. Okay, so basically what it is, is it's a monoclonal antibody which targets an epitope on the extracellular domain of the HER2 receptor. So let's say this is the HER2 receptor here. So this is HER2 here. And basically what it's going to do is it's an antibody. So uh, let's just revise our antibody structure. So antibodies, let's do it over here, consist of two heavy chains, which I'll draw like so. Okay, so here's a heavy chain, here's the second heavy chain, and the two heavy chains are linked by disulfide bonds. And then two light chains, which are again linked to the heavy chains by disulfide bonds. So this is the structure of an antibody. So basically what's going to happen is these antibodies have variable regions which can bind to epitopes of other proteins. So trastuzumab is a monoclonal antibody, which means that it's they all of the antibodies uh, bind to a single epitope of um, the protein, and it's targeted against HER2. So trastuzumab is an anti-HER2 antibody. So basically what's going to happen is here comes our trastuzumab here, and it's going to bind... Oh, whoops, no, this is going terribly wrong. Uh, how can I remedy this? Um, no, I don't think if I can. We'll do it on this side, so ignore that. Um, so, um, this is better. Right, so here's our trastuzumab antibody here. And here it is, with its variable region bound, basically, to this extracellular domain of the HER2 receptor here. Now, when trastuzumab binds to the extracellular domain of the HER2 receptor, then the growth factor, the epidermal growth factor, which needed to come and bind to the HER2 receptor extracellular domain in order to activate it, it can't get past the trastuzumab. The trastuzumab is stopping the epidermal growth factor here from binding to the HER2 receptor. So this is the um, epidermal growth factor here, or the EGF. And this here is the trastuzumab molecule. Right, so... Trastuzumab binds to the HER2 receptor and doesn't activate it. That's important. It doesn't activate the conformational change that then leads to uh, the dimerization. Instead, it just binds and effectively acts as a competitive antagonist uh, for the receptor and stops uh, the EGF from being able to bind and stimulate the receptor. Now, if you give this drug, then even if you have a HER2 amplification, the drug is going to stop the EGF from acting on the HER2. So if you can't, if the drug, if EGF can't bind to HER2 and can't activate it, then you don't get activation of the MAP kinase ERK pathway, and you don't get activation of the PI3 kinase AKT mTOR pathway, so you don't get over division. And that's the basis of how this drug, Trastuzumab, can be used to treat um, breast cancer where you have uh, over activation of these HER2 receptors and a common way that you see uh, gain of function mutations in HER2 is via amplification of the gene where you have multiple copies of the gene, more than two.